Live team coverage continues now with Keith Jones, who is live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport with more on what's going on there. Keith. I spoke with a local Islamic group today, and it says after the first executive order was issued, they didn't have a lot of confidence in this revised ban as the details became more evident late morning and early afternoon. It says it was clear to them this is still a Muslim ban, and this is nothing more than a Band-Aid. We don't see any difference. As far as he's concerned, the revised executive order is no more than Trump Muslim ban 2.0. Wilfredo Ruiz with CARE, or the Council for American Islamic Relations, which represents 700,000 Muslims statewide, including 100,000 in South Florida, sees little difference in the revised order. It reminds every member is still the same as in the first one. We want to implement a Muslim ban. Let's start with seven countries, now they reduce it to six. Phone calls requesting help by Muslims has doubled since February. The calls come from current visa holders, which according to the ban are now exempt. Nevertheless, the fear of not being able to re-enter is very real. And we cannot really give a sound advice yet because the orders per se are so irregular, are so uh, religiously biased. With the original travel ban, there was mass confusion at the airports interpreting the order. Because of that, Ruiz says his members are flat out scared of traveling outside the U.S., not being able to return, family unable to visit, education and work visas not being honored. To discriminate as who comes to this country, and if you do a religious test, that the very minute you do it, you're violating the Constitution of the United States. Ruiz agrees the United States has the right to say who can and cannot enter our country, but when it's faith-based, which he says the revised order oozes with evidence, it's a constitutional violation. And CARE takes issue with the White House claim the travel order is simply supposed to protect Americans from terrorism. The religious group mostly affected by ISIS today are the Muslims in a proportion like 100 to 1. So what are we doing to protect the victims of terrorism if that's the real purpose behind it? But it is not. It is the real purpose is I want to ban the Muslims. And Muslims feel very much targeted still. The lead attorney for CARE says it is confident that you will see this challenged in the courts as the last executive order was. And they're also saying they're confident you're going to see protests and marches in the streets at airports like here at FLL as well as federal buildings. Live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, Keith Jones, NBC6 News.